All right, it is 2.29, and let me tell you, it is cold today. <sighs> I want to apologize to you guys. Uh, in the past, I've been bringing up a certain somebody on the internet, and he's kind of been stalking me. And uh, After going through the metrics of my videos, I've noticed that my views have gone down, and some people that were following me and who were regularly commenting that I consider to be close friends are no longer... Uh, really watching my videos or leaving comments so I'm kind of losing subscribers and people are not watching the videos as long as they were like essentially the metrics are saying that people are just not interested in this content so uh, in the interest of self-preservation uh, I'm, I'm gonna no longer uh, be bringing that gentleman up and you know it's fun it was fun to go back and forth and, and whatever uh, but it's just not content that it, yeah, you guys are obviously not interested in it. So uh, I'm just going to leave it alone and keep moving forward like I was before. Um, today I'm doing my second bench day of the Candido six-week strength program. I'm in week four, and I, I did really good. I don't really have anything to report. I had three sets. I had to do 330, 335, and 340 for triples. Nailed them all. Easy. I could have gone up in weight. Uh, that puts me right on track to be able to peak at 405 pounds during competition. So that'll be cool if I can get that on record. That would be that would be a nice cap to a couple of years worth of effort. So we'll see. Now the videos that have been doing good are my response to comments. So I'm going to continue to do those. Uh, I could talk about my bench workout. I don't really know what to say. I did bench and I did a couple accessories. What do you want to know? Do you have any questions? But I got a lovely comment from Emeretta Robinson. Now, this comment's a book, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to paraphrase some key points. First, it starts out with, uh, sometimes it sounds like you're being cyber-stalked and that whoever this person is also has beef with you. you know, like, yeah, well, we've already touched on that. We're going to leave that alone from now on, moving forward. It's a one-way thing anyways, so it's only a beef if I continue to engage the person because he's inserting himself in my life, and I don't really, I'm not competing with him. I have nothing to do with him. He's no bearing on me whatsoever. So if I don't comment back, there's really no... It's kind of whatever. He's going to be typing one way, so we're just going to leave it at that. But she goes on to talk about how she had an interest in being a bodybuilder as a female, but she did not get any encouragement from any of her uh, family or uh, her uh, partner at the time, who went on to say that, uh, he did, uh, uh, well, he says specifically, Women who lift weights ain't got no hips and that they were masculine. And only a man that secretly wants to be with another man would be with a woman like that. Okay, well, that's a valid opinion for him. Okay, some guys do have that opinion. And they're basing that opinion on the women that have taken a bodybuilding to the extreme and do look like men, I would think. But there's a... I would say this, as long as you stay natural, there's almost 0% chance, and I'm going to say this to all women, all women who lift weights, because I've heard this before, women have told me, I don't want to work out like you because I don't want to get big like a man. You won't. Other men have said that to me, I don't want to get big like you. You won't. <laughs> you will not. You don't just get big. You, there's a lot of things that go into it. One is genetics. Are you big to begin with? Do you have the capacity to be that way? Two, are you going to eat? You got to eat. You have to eat to get bigger. You could train until your arms fall off. But if you don't put on, you know, don't intake extra calories, you will not get bigger. Three, drugs. I hate to say it, but when you do enough steroids, there's a line that you cross. The uncanny valley, they call it. You see it uh, with these AI that try to impersonate people. Or, uh, you know, uh, well, like, what do they call it? CGI on the movies where they try to uh, imitate real people. It just doesn't quite look right. And same with bodybuilders, you know, when they become to the point where it's just so far beyond natural, it just doesn't look right. We have this built-in mechanism, and when we see something and it's just off, it just, it's off. And it's off-putting for most people. 
most men see women like that and they're off put. Most women see men like that and they're off put. So as long as you keep it, it reasonably clean, you're just not going to look like that. And I would say absolutely 100% pursue that. Um, and it sucks that you didn't have that support. It's really a bummer. And I've always been one of those people that just like, I see something I really wanted. I'm going to do it regardless of what anyone thinks, but it makes it exponentially more difficult when you don't have the support of the loved ones around you. And uh, hopefully you're in a better situation where you can, you know, take chances and pursue those kinds of endeavors. And, and I, and you have my support 100%. If there's any way I can be of any of assistance to you, do not hesitate to ask. And you will find that, uh, in this community, there's going to be a lot of people that will also help you. Uh, if you, you consider doing videos, you know, like a lot of times, uh, people will ask me for advice or assistance. And if I can't see it, I can't really do anything with it. So take that into consideration. Um, uh, but Jen, yeah, I would just say, go for it, man. Go for it. Do you, you know, we got to find out you have to, you got to at least try, you know, you might try something. You might find out it's not for you. It does. It, it's a, it's a dedication. It is a lifestyle change. It's something that you have to commit to. And a lot of people will get into something and decide, no, this isn't for me, but you won't know unless you go for it. You know, absolutely. 100%. Isn't she lovely? On a side note, we got another rooster yesterday, last night. And uh, the gentleman is a sweetheart. Like, the, the, you could pick him up and hold him. A lot of roosters are mean. And we have a little rooster. And my daughter likes to dress him up, put little hats on him. He's more like a cat. <laughs> But the, some of the girls were getting picked on, and they suggested if we got another rooster, uh, that would, he would help with that. This boy, his alarm goes off early, so I don't think I'm going to have to set an alarm anytime soon. Man, that boy's loud. Uh, back to what we were talking about, um, Amaretta caps the con uh, comment off by basically saying the same thing I did. Like, don't let other people... Don't let the opinions of other people affect what you ask for if that makes sense a lot of times uh, the things that we pursue or want to get into we allow the other uh, opinions of other people to really affect those choices and if it holds you back to the point where you can't try something new that's a real bummer you know especially if it's something that's wholesome and is going to be better you know it's going to enrich your life um you know i think about my wife when she trains she gets really shredded and there's been a lot of a lot of female lifters I've trained with, and while they do get you know more muscular for sure, I don't know a single one of them that became unattractive or manly. Now it wasn't until you know you start introducing um, you know unfortunately like anabolics to the to the mix, and those disproportionately affect women. It'll lower their voice. It'll give them manly features. So. That's something to consider if you're thinking about dabbling with that. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it's it's not that it doesn't it, it doesn't disproportionately affect women. It's just that the side effects that women suffer um, don't impact men as much. You know, if, you, if a man gets a little more manlier looking, usually that doesn't hurt him that much. If a woman gets a little more manly looking, you, should, should be, you know, it, well, you've all seen all the top female bodybuilders when they do interviews they have about that voice you know they all have that voice yeah that's something to consider so you stay natural stay relatively clean you won't you won't get manly i don't i just it's it's hard believe it or not guys it ain't easy to just put muscle on you know we a lot of us have been training for a long time and, we, and it took us a long time to get like this so when I hear people make comments like, I don't want to get big like you. I mean, you, you think I just started lifting weights and the next day I look like this? Like, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit dismissive to think that you would look like me, you know what I mean? But, no, no, try it. Get in there. Get, the bottom line is, uh, as we age, there's only been one thing that has been found to be effective for staving off the really negative effect of aging. And that's resistance training. It's not walking, it's not running, it's not cardio, it's weightlifting, period. 
helps with the cognitive issues so people that suffer from dementia uh, helps with the bone issues that we all get uh, we, we start uh, producing bone basically after what is it the age of 40 like usually by the age of 40 you're not going to get your bones any stronger than they already are unfortunately uh, and the science is pretty clear on that unfortunately that's a bummer like if one of the things like the younger kids like if you can get them into weightlifting as early as possible their bones will become much more dense and then as they age that will pretty much take care of like the uh, the bone wasting issues that most people suffer from but like me i got into the sport kind of late now I've, uh, I've trained for most of my life so i probably won't have bone density issues but if you're someone that just got into training and you're, you're in your 40s or 50s um you won't put any more on any more bone density but it's still worth it because everything else becomes stronger and we're also talking about like power lifting you don't need to be a power lifter you just need to do some kind of resistance training with progression you, you, you want to get stronger you want to be fit it doesn't require you to, so you don't have to bench 400 pounds and squat 600 but everybody i think a good metric or a good goal for reasonable strength is to be able to squat and deadlift twice your body weight and bench your body weight at least that's just a general fitness goal i think everyone should have and that means you're pretty strong pretty capable anybody disagree with that drop a comment let me hear what you think all right my boss is in town so i got a motor we got meetings 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 I love it. I love sitting in meetings all day. It's so much fun. If you guys got anything out of this, hit that subscribe, that like button. We'll see you guys on the battlefield.